Aloha. Aloha. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm excited to journey with you as we learn how to take your health back. Today, we shall hear from the heart of an international organization that is near and dear to my heart. Suchi Foundation has been serving the world unconditionally without borders for decades. Don't feel bad if you haven't heard of Suchi Foundation. Today, Dr. Shirley Chen will enlighten you with the heart of Suchi. After this talk, you will feel their hearts and you will be asking, how can I too be a part of this dynamic group as they make a positive difference throughout the world? We hope that many will learn with Suchi how to make our communities healthier by taking on a healthy lifestyle. Please welcome Dr. Shirley Chen, volunteer, Director for Medical Development for Suchi Foundation. Welcome, Dr. Shirley. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. Uh, <laughs> I'm so yeah. excited. There's so much to talk about and so little time, but let's get started. So, Dr. Shirley Chen, please share a little about yourself and why you do what you do. All right. Uh, so, so, people call me Dr. Chen, Shirley, or Dr. Shirley Chen. Don't even. Uh, Ama, that's my Chinese nickname. But anyway, uh, Shirley will be good. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm Dr. Shirley Chen, retired dentist from my own practice 30 years. And uh, since 1986, uh, also it's been a while. And nice to see you all here. And uh, great to see Hawaii friends in the local area. All right. So in that photo, um, that slide that we had up, we have a, is that, are those your two children? Yes. Mm -hmm. And do they volunteer side by side with you? Yes. Yeah. All righty. So let me see. Now, from a medical career to charity work, I know you gave up your practice uh, in medical practice from practicing as a dentist to a volunteer. So remember everyone, she's a volunteer. Director for Medical Development for Tsuji. Why did you make this career change? Um, well, it's been a while for practice 30 years and also volunteer for close to 30 years. We realized that life is not just the working, it's also the giving out the, the needed the, the people near you and also helping out the friend of the, of the community. So uh, to expand that for medical career, I choose to have a more hands to go different area. And Suji is a nice place and locations that serve me a lot of compassion at work. So that's why I switched from my career to more dedicated work. I didn't give it up my career yet, but through the medical outreach, I can reach out more charity, humanistic, and also internationally. So wow. that's, I make it a lot of change, but still inside of that, that voluntarism spirit. Wow. So you gave up um, a medical practice, but now um, you're getting even more rewarded with all the love and the compassion that you are able to give out. And the best part I know, doctor, is that you're able to receive a lot of love and compassion from the people that you're serving. So I'm so excited of your career change and um, just congratulate you for doing that with the community. I know we mentioned a lot about Suji and um, many people don't know what Suji is. And in the beginning, I thought it was Suji, so to help people remember what is a sushi, I would tell them just try to remember sushi, but then it was a TZU, sushi. And that's what we want to talk about today, the heart and the, the thoughts about what is sushi. So in our next slide, we see Master Cheng Yin, who is the founder of Suchi Foundation. Her mission is to bring peace and joy to the world. Please enlighten us, Shirley. Um, with the mission of Tuchi and Master Cheng Yen. Uh, Master Cheng Yen in 1966, uh, she established the Buddhist Tuchi Foundations to help the people and relieve suffering. And she wants each person to think about helping others every day as, as the more they want it. Through the words and action spread, to people to people participant. And uh, she also asked her, does the 
disciples uh, to make it all the people are capable to the same great compassion as the Buddha. So that's how our master Ching Yen's uh, spirits give us the missions to spread the seeds of love to every one of the world. Wow. And the, yeah, and the, the logo of the Ji on your, your, on your left hand side, you can see that special logo from the side. It's uh, several components, each with a symbolic message about missions. There's a lot of flower with the eight petals, the fruit uh, within the flower and the inside that a ship. The city logo include a lot of simultaneously here bearing flower and fruit. This is uh, symbolize how we can make the world a better place by constantly planting the good seeds. Only with such seeds can flower bloom and bear fruit. The city volunteer listen to and receive the Dharma and then go out to save and transform others. That's how does the, the uh, master the teaching and the apple of the lotus symbolize the a noble path of the uh, of the city uh, volunteers use as their guide. That's what it is about. Wow, uh, such a de uh, deep meaning behind everything. We just think it's a lotus or the ship, but of course everything has purpose and meaning. And um, I want to say I learned about Suchi in 1998, and uh, I was very privileged to volunteer alongside uh, Stephanie Chan, uh, Fan and her husband and the rest of the my, uh, dynamic volunteers. But I also learned that you, um, I know everybody wants to volunteer, but they have to watch. Um, when you come into Suchi, they watch you and they, they, they want to cultivate a servant's heart that we want to serve and give back unconditionally without receiving anything back. And so that would qualify you in my heart as a city volunteer. And then the next step is when you continue to give and give and just doing more for not just um, the community, for the world, and not having any anything to get uh, personal gain. I thought that was the best part about Suchi is that these uh, members, volunteers of Suchi, just continue to give back unconditionally. And uh, I remember Master Cheng Yen uh, developed this, uh, this foundation, this whole spirit of Suchi in, in this town of uh, Hualien. Is that correct, Dr. Uh, Shirley? Correct. Right? And I remember, I want to say that she saw uh, the need for the community to have medical care and someone was being turned away. And um, she said, no no one should be turned away from medical uh, attention. And so I believe, did she not cut these bamboo? She cut the bamboo and she made them into bamboo banks and she gave them to all the townspeople, all the women, everyone in the community. And um, she asked that every day you make a little donation for someone who has less. And we're talking a lot of people who are not abundant financially, but they were to sacrifice a penny or a coin every day, and then they would collect these banks and they would put it towards a building facilities like a clinic. And I believe they built hospitals and universities with all these donations that people gave daily from their heart. And so that's what the heart behind Suchi is all about. Not just giving them a big check and say, good, I did my job. They lo they're looking for everyone's heart to be changed, to be compassionate, and to serve unconditionally. And that's the beauty of what Suchi is all about in my heart. I so resonate with all of that. In fact, I still have my bank, my bamboo bank, and that we fill up, you put the money in here, and then we donate it back to Suchi, and that's how they continue to thrive. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. So I know that Suchi does worldwide disaster relief, Shirley. So I know that Suji volunteers were very busy last year till to today. Please share with us, what has Suji been up to in the last few months? Uh, that's uh, just uh, very grateful to hear you had a bamboo bank with you all the time. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, you still remember how to put in the, the money donated to the local and they would use the money uh, the, to help it out the others. Uh, through this humble giving and the, the spirits growing in your mind, uh, we are still have the everybody to know 
you are not just uh, giving out, you're, you are not just receiving and also giving out. That's uh, your compassion is the seeds growing through it. And with uh, this uh, with uh, this uh, small amount of money for everybody, uh, we can provide it the relief. And that's why so many countries, 50 countries in the world, and the relief for, for uh, medical relief or every kind of disaster relief for close to 80 countries around the world. And the last year, it was really bad, um, especially in the uh, United States domestic, no matter what state it is, but in California, really has a big number of times out. Even now, there has a variant around that. So we do, uh, in the beginning of last year, we do giving out the mask and the PPE, and uh, we also give it out, not just only the community, we give it out the hospital, we give it out a lot of facilities, even the you know, department, fire department, or anything, uh, a school, or any facilities that needs it. And besides that, uh, we you know, give it out the antibody test and we give it a vaccinated. We have a clinic in Los Angeles and they give it out the vaccinated shots close to 5,000 this until now. Uh, and also we show people how to eat right, uh, give them the, uh, uh, the, the pick the, the vegetarian bento. We also the show people how to eat right and ask them to not to eat uh, not to eat uh, any more food. We give it out the plant based food and give it out as the food for those people in low income. So overall, the the work from our community society is not just only helping out the people for the vaccinated, we also help enough for those people in need at home. Wow. I know whenever there is a disaster, I'm always thinking of Tiji and, and you know, I know um, it's amazing. I try to point this out to people, um, even though I'm not active every day with Tiji, I am speaking of Tiji daily to everyone I meet and uh, just just reminding them when you see the screen on TV or when you see different disaster or events, look for the blue and white because your volunteers are always wearing blue polo shirt, white collar and white pants and um, just there to serve and not just there at that immediate moment, but you also stay on the uh, environment for days and months after to continue to follow up with the victims and making sure that they are all doing well and thriving and so that's the heart is to change not just to be there in, in, at the day or the minute of disaster but to continue on so i know that suji hawaii has a large volunteer presence how has the local office in honolulu assisted with covid19 since it began uh, honolulu and just, uh, we try to see uh giving out the food distributed and honolulu doing the same thing they give it out of for the foods and the special for veggie, veggie base to give them out for them. And that, uh, that's the way I uh, talk about it. And uh, you can see the picture shows the how uh, they have held a drive through instant rice and food distribution from the August till the December 2020 at the, I believe the, Kamuki office, right? That's correct. And, uh, yeah, the Kamuki office. And then they are doing, uh, they also help the people in local and the California local area doing the same thing. Uh, people are afraid to, to get touch each other, keep social distance. And we do also helping out the food distribution as well. Wow. And I know um, in the, it's a Buddhist organization they try to encourage eating plant strong or vegetarian uh, vegetarian uh, diet. And I think that's so important. And that's why I resonated so well with, with this organization is because my desire to eat plant strong became greater and greater. And of course, <laughs> the volunteers of Suchi are not only compassionate, but they're great cooks. So <laughs> the food that we eat, um, while we're volunteering or while we're serving or whatever we're doing, 
the, the volunteers there uh, just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's all that love that they're putting into their food that it just sends every dish over the top and it fuels us to do more and be more because the food is so great and it's all very healthy. So you can eat and taste, uh, food tastes good and it's healthy at the same time. What a, what a combination, right, Shirley? So yeah. right now I'd like to introduce to, uh, to you um, a Hawaii state representative. Uh, he's a representative for the 20th district. His name is Jackson Sayama who happens to be one of the younger representatives serving in Hawaii. Shirley, please share with others why Representative Jackson is being mentioned right now. Uh, I believe that Jackson, uh, uh, he graduated from Suji Sunday Chinese School. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that was the youngest, he was the youngest representative in Hawaii, right? That's correct. Uh, yeah, and uh, in uh, Kamuki district, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And he also came to volunteer at the distribution through uh, Kamuki Neighborhood Board web, web page, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And he promised to come more often to volunteers uh, uh, out for helping people too. Uh, but it's Stephanie, Stephanie Fan has already spoke to him mm -hmm. and he's really want to participate more and help the people in need too. Right, and so that's part of what they do at Suchi as well. They not just feed us well and we do work hard, but they also cultivate the young generation to live and work with respect and dignity so that they can continue this, um, these qualities within themselves so they can pass it on to the next generation. And I think that is so important. And with a man like Jackson, um, his heart is truly to help the houseless. And I know he works um, tirelessly with other uh, organizations like Twinkle at the Waianae Boat Harbor. And I know a lot of the people of the leaders of the houseless communities have great respect for Jackson. So we're so grateful that he's uh, in our district and we're in his district so that we can work side by side with him and um, have very great and positive outcomes. So um, let's move on. I know that Suji has a heart for the houseless community, and I know that they do many, many feedings throughout the world. Can you share with us a little bit about this? Yeah, this is a, a serving pot meal for the homeless. Uh, as you know, the uh, uh, as you know, the Suji has been doing a lot of home meal to serving the people in needs uh, everywhere in in the country. Uh, we also serve the, the California and the, around the country. Uh, Wendy, do you know the picture of this? Yes. Uh -huh. So this uh, was uh, a while ago, and um, I was when I was actively volunteering. This looks like a a la park, and that's where we used to do a lot of our vegetarian feedings as well as a la Moana park until the city wouldn't let open feedings in the park. So we then partnered with Lanakila health and IHS and other kitchens as we prepared vegetarian dishes to be served to the houseless friends. And guess what? Our houseless community love the food as well. And so we didn't really tell them that they were eating vegetarian food, but you know what? They just loved it. And I would take them on the side and just tell them, you know what? This was not just a meal created with loving hands, but it's also a vegetarian meal that will continue. If you continue to eat on this you know, kind of direction, um, your bodies will really thrive and really re respond well. So that they, I was also trying to encourage them to come by and see how we can help them further than just giving them a meal. But yes, they did experience great healthy food right there in the park and they were just blown away and they couldn't believe that it had no meat in it. So I was, I, what an experience for all of us to have experienced. So, Shirley, please explain this next slide and please also translate what the message on the blackboard means. Oh, that's the that's a really meaning to 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 us. Uh, as you know, the the blackboard shows us the um, master genius, the teachings that it says we need to overcome difficulty and not to be overcome by them. We always uh, share with the people, we help about how the don donation from the small donations accumulate to, to help the around this world and help them. 
and uh, around the United States office, many makers uh, raise the dumpling to raise the other things and or anything uh, to find to raise it for helping out the COVID nineteen relief. And that is the the, the bamboo bank in the meaning for just the, the the one you show on on the you are really in hand and also these pictures. Uh, I believe the lady you know her right. Oh, what, well. what, is, what, is, what was the fraud that happened all the time? Well, yeah, what happened was I didn't know I didn't know her personally, but in 2008 when there was that great flood and there were days and days of flooding, so we saw the need because there were so many local homes that were damaged. So of course, Tuchi is uh, one of the organizations to first respond. And we went out there and we assessed who needed help. And we have a simple criteria that we follow. And um, once determined that they do need help, then of course, we'll give them um, a set amount of fee as well as clean up products so that they can go home and you know they don't have to wait for anybody to give them assistance, but yet they can go home and clean up themselves. So in 2008, that woman, she came and we uh, qualified her and gave her some assistance. And as you know, this past March, um, we again had massive floodings in that same area and she came back and she was very, very grateful that we were back there again. In fact, I was thinking she was praying for us to get there so that we could go and, and give her assistance financially and even just morally just know that we're there to support her. And um, Shirley, the neat thing is in 2008, um, like any disaster anywhere in the world, Suchi is, I want to say, one of the model, um, model organizations of recycling. And the reason I say that is because on that island, their island state of uh, Taiwan, they recycle pretty much everything. And where it would be somebody's rubbish, which is plastic bottles, they recycle these plastic bottles and then they make blankets and wraps. And these blankets and wraps are what we pack up. And when we go to disaster zones, we are distributing these blankets and wraps to keep them warm because Lots of them lost everything in their code and they have nothing. And so this woman in red, she mentioned that in 2008, we did give her one of these plastic bottle wraps and she still has them. And I also, Shirley, want to tell you that I have mine and I don't know if you can see it clearly, but this is 50 recycled bottles, water bottles. They take it, they process it into microfibers and they make them into wraps and see. I wear mine, I travel with mine always. And Stephanie, we had an extra one or two and she says, Wendy, you need to take one. And I said, really? And I was so blessed with this gift in 2008 that I have it in my car, I travel with it and it's with me daily. So it reminds me as well. And I share with everybody what this is made of and I treasure this. So like, like we always say, this is a, a piece of trash, but it turned into my treasure. And it, I treasure it as it keeps me warm and it reminds me that we can con continually give and give until we cannot give anymore. So at that event um, uh, in 2008, we actually gave out about $50,000 to Haleiwa's disaster victims to help them get back on their feet. So what a great organization to represent, to just stand side by side with. And I also wanna let you know that Suchi, is labeled a VOAD. It's not VOD, like it's like an acronym VOAD, a volunteer organization active in disaster. And so anytime there is a disaster anywhere in the world, Master Cheng Yan will uh, allow and uh, summons her volunteers at, wherever they are to go and, uh, and assist, to aid and assist and assess and to give them love and compassion through their times of need. And so it is just Quite dynamic, I would say. So uh, for yourself, Dr. Shirley, giving up your medical practice and joining forces with Suchi, I think that was the right thing to do, for sure. It was such a wonderful story to hear, and that make my day. It's so <laughs> moved, and uh, it's the, the lady in red is the must be lucky to see you, and you could give them the peace of the mind, warm, and uh, give them the comfort. And also your blanket looks good to you. It's a, <laughs> it's a fashion statement. Years. It's I mean, and it's it's a fashion statement, and it's just plastic bottles 
but it's um, brilliant. Um, I, I believe that they made it a little bit bigger. Um, I, it would take 75 bottles and that would be considered a blanket. And we deliver blankets and wraps. And um, as I said, they make the best travel companion. They're warm and they're light. And I just love it. And it's a great reminder of what the great love of Suchi is all about. So, so I know. That's the biggest that they for today. And make your uh, life healthier. It's <laughs> just uh, so move, so touch. Yes. So Wonderful. I know. I know that all of these, I mean, I know we recycle and we do a lot of things to uh, generate income so that we can fund all the different programs that Suchi does throughout the world. But I know that funds are always needed. So please share with us, Shirley, most recently, how has Suchi been able to raise funds and where are these funds directed? Uh, the, just like what I mentioned about us, the Bamboo Bank is to mm -hmm. keep the people every day to donate it. And then uh, tomorrow, after tomorrow, we have a matching fund to raise up the funding to the uh, uh, COVID-19 in India and also the uh, Taiwan. As you, you know, this is the, uh, the COVID-19 almost hit everywhere. The pandemic really, really happened in the world. Uh, Master Ching Yan has been asking our uh, the disciples to helping out the funding, helping the people in the world who are needed. So we do uh, collect all the money from everywhere and that's the help that the peoples. So this is the one thing uh, just the upcoming, the recently the Dragon Festival and we do have the people to uh, making the donation through there. They're making the vegetarian rice dumpling and they, in Hawaiian, Hawaiian uh, uh, chapters, they do have a thousand and thousand of the, the dumplings and collect the money to help the people in California, New York, Florida, and uh, Chicago. They do also doing the same thing. That's just a piece of the uh, mind and do helping out a lot of people too. Uh, you can see the picture from there. They are, uh, that's the picture from Hawaii chapter too. Wow. So Shirley, I understood that um, they made about a thousand, we call jong. Uh, they made about a thousand uh, vegetarian jongzi. And it's what it is. It's steamed leaf wrap, sticky rice dumpling. And they've made over a thousand. But bad, the good news is they sold them all out. And the bad news is they sold them all out. So <laughs> good and bad is they made a thousand and they sold them. And that money generated from that one event uh, fundraiser will go to assist many different countries around the world, like uh, uh, like India and maybe Taiwan or different locations. And so that's the great thing. And I understand that this weekend they're going to be doing another fundraiser and they're cooking jai. Again, the good news and the bad news. <laughs> it's so delicious. It's such a great vegetarian healthy dish. That too has been sold out. And you're all saying, well, then make more. So what we are wanting to do is we're going to do everything moderate because everything in moderation. So they do a thousand and it takes a lot of labor of love there. And so when they sell that out, then they'll gear up for the next event and the next fundraiser. And they do, everybody is involved a little bit at a time. And we're not out there to mass make it, but we're just there to cultivate more hearts to doing the right thing. So that's what we want to do. So just stay tuned. We're going to give you some information now on how to get involved with the team. So, um, uh, Shirley, now that everyone's encouraged and motivated to come out and volunteer, how do we get someone to know more about Suchi? Uh, before we end up the show today, uh, I would like to encourage everybody by going out to help others and make a connection. We are making ourselves healthier. <laughs> and this is uh, the Suchi Hawaii website. Just go to www.suchi.us. The email is going to be the Hawaii Suji at Suji.us. And our number is going to be 808-737-8885. We are our friendly, grateful people of Laurentia are going to answer your phone and welcome you to be with us. And we walk it out, make our better mind, better health, and better lifestyle, and wow. make you happier every day. Wow. So, Shirley, we have to leave it for now. You've been watching Taking Your Health Back on Think Tech Hawaii. We want to say mahalo to Shirley Chen, volunteer, director of medical development for Suchi USA. 
Thank you for talking story with us, Shirley, and sharing the heart of Suchi volunteers. And mahalo to our viewers for watching. I'm Wendy Lowe. We'll be back in two weeks with another edition of Taking Your Health Back. Aloha and mahalo, Shirley.